Hello, I'm Derek Tarver. This is your Farming Simulator 15 Mod Spotlight. We're here hanging out. Let's jump into... We got some tractors and maybe some trucks. Might be just truck. <laughs> tractors. Our first tractor, the Class Axion 850. 120,000 to buy. 320 a day to own. 233 horsepower tractor. It's not bad. Let's buy that. Then we have... The MTZ 82.1, 45,000 to buy, 42 a day to own, 82 horsepower tractor. Not a lot of power. This one at 75, so at least it's, you know, uprated from that. Still not a lot of power. All right, so that's those guys. Now let's go to cars. We have a Ford 4000. It's a bad picture of, a, of the vehicle. Uh, 38000 to buy, 20, 20 a day to own, 220 horsepower vehicle. Let's buy that in that color. Okay, and let's see. <laughs> let's see if I can find the other one. It might not actually have made it because uh, it was a poor... Uh, I wouldn't say it was a poor convert. I don't think it was a convert from anything. But I didn't bother to check what category it was supposedly put into. I don't think we're actually going to get it. Might be in tractors if we're lucky. But we're going to... Did I miss it in tractors? I don't think I missed it in tractors. No. Okay, so the other one, last one, didn't make it in. It was... It didn't look like it was going to be a very good one. All right, so we're left with three. Uh, I said blue, but it came out yellow. It's, that's an interesting color of blue there, truck. Huh. All right, so here's our class Axion. Looking good. Clip a little bit into the tires, but that's all right. Looking good back there. Cool. Here's our MTZ. Look at all that engine detail going on there. Oh, look! You have a fire extinguisher and a wrench. A little crescent wrench there. Oh, that's actually a pretty cool little storage spot. I don't know how logical it is to store your stuff there, but there you go. That looks nice and rusty and beaten up and muddy. That's pretty cool. All right, now we have this truck. Uh-oh. What? Oh. There's walls here. I'm literally hitting invisible walls. Yeah. There's an invisible wall right there. Built off of this truck. Interesting. And honestly, that doesn't surprise me. Because, oh my goodness, the Lua airs, and raw texture airs, and texture airs, and loading airs that this truck throws in your log are unreal. Kind of weird thing going on in the engine there, where there is really no engine. Cool. All right, let's start with this guy. All right, let's get inside. Looking pretty good in here. I wouldn't say it's great. All right, so keypad six. Well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, look at that. Keypad five opens up our window. Six turns on that light. Seven is our door. Yeah. Eight is the back. And nine opens up that door. Cool. K is kaput. Ah, look at that. X is flarms. Oh, look at those are your flarms. Missing extra weight. F. <laughs> That's lights. Cool. R is a warning sign. Ah, look at that. You can put the warning sign. That's actually pretty cool. Look at that engine detail, too. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And given the problems I currently have with drive control, that's actually a pretty good idea. Uh, kaput. Kaput down. Nope. There. Cool. All right, let's start it up. All right. Nice. Okay, so 52 kilometers an hour would be our top speed. Beacons. We have derpy beacons. Those aren't very good beacons. I'm going to call them derpy beacons. 
don't know if I like that, but there you go. Uh, this thing should be washable, but we're going to find out by giving it the plow. All right, let's get the plow and the front weight, because I'm betting we're going to need that. Oops. There we go. All right. Hire the worker, and away you go. There we are. Nice. All right, we'll come back to him in a minute. Our MTZ. All right, we have a six. Is, is it? Nope, that's that. Aha, six, attacher block. Oh, okay, so it's got a, um, it's got front loader attachment. L, road train. Oh, little road train lights, okay. Five is ventilator? Oh my goodness, I just saw it. Look, watch the fan. Fan off, fan on, yeah. Numpad zero, info on. Okay. <laughs> All right, um... So we've, we've got turn signals. Yep, four is uh, that, five is the back window, six is the backlight, seven is the left door, eight's the right window, nine is the right door, B is the bop light, okay, M is the kaput, and N is a turnbuckle. Aha, turnbuckle on the back, yeah. Oh, look at, look at the detail of that engine. That's really good. Let's start it. Oh, look at the fan even runs. That is impressive. Again, all done without IC, which is even better when you're, when you have uh, drive control. So let's uh, close our kaput. That's not how I close my kaput. I close my kaput with M. Uh, let's see, four. Five. There. Cool. Uh, turn off the turnbuckle. Let's, uh, I didn't check the cloths for this, so I, I am remiss in that, and I will check the cloths in a minute. Nice. That looks good. And I notice we've got a little pin on the front that could be useful. Um, what are we going to give this guy to do? We need to give him something <laughs> cheap and cheerful. Uh, how many horsepowers do you require? 100 horsepowers. Uh, you require 100 horsepowers. You require 68 horsepowers. Hmm. Can we give him the 100 horsepower? Let's let's buy it and see. We'll see. The engine note's good too. I like that. Let's turn off our little info panel. We seem to have taken the load okay. I think any bumps in the road are going to cause us to tip over backwards. Okay, the cloth's crashed, which is fine for right now. Hire the worker. And he has all wheel drive. Excellent. All right, let's go back here. Are you done? Oh, you think you're done. Okay, that's fine. You didn't get very dirty in that short amount of time. I wonder if it does. It does have plow spec on, I just noticed. I don't even see the wheels getting dirty. Well, let's see what he does. We'll test him in a minute. All right, here we are with this guy. Holy mother. Holy mother. This thing is, um... What the... Do you guys see this? Look at this. Okay, the oil drums. Wah. What? Is that? What is that? That's... What? <sighs> Start it. 
Okay, we've started it. It can go 99 kilometers an hour. Sort of. Maybe. Whee! All right. Let's see if we can get it to go something uh, uh, presuming forward. Lights. We have something in approximating lights. That is a 90 kilometer hour power slide in this truck. I mean, but that's just, I mean, what, what is the point of that? What is the point? Whee! Okay, that's, uh, that's a thing. I'd say it's a thing you don't want. It's just my thought. Um, our MTZ is working along. Doesn't appear to be getting dirty yet. And he doesn't appear to be getting dirty either. Not even the wheels. Okay, let's uh, get out of that. And let's check. Uh, three points look good in general. Get rid of that. Thank you. Uh, three points look good in general. Let's check the PTO position. But overall, I think... Other than, other than an issue with, um, it not getting dirty, which I think is really the only issue. That's, that's fine. I wouldn't say it's beautiful, but it's fine. I would say this is a pretty darn good tractor. That looks good as well. All right, so this, uh, the Klaus Arion, is a good looking tractor with a lot of extras for you. I gotta remember how to turn those extras on. No, I don't want the turn signal. No, not that. Not the turn. There. And then the kaput was K. Yeah. So that, that's a decent tractor that I do like. Can you even see the fan? No. I do like that tractor. I wish it got dirty, but overall, not a bad piece of kit. Um, you are now stuck, so let's get rid of that. Oh, wait. He's getting... Is he getting dirty? I can't even tell. I can't tell whether it's getting dirty or it just always has been. <laughs> but the other vehicle we have here is the Belarus 82.1 or the MTZ 82.1, depending on your point of... Preference. Oh, I turned on backlights. Yeah, can I can I open my kaput while driving? I can open my kaput while driving. That is totally the Russian thing to do right there. Uh, <laughs> so these two farm tractors are now mating. No, um, these two tractors are definitely worth taking a look at, especially if you like uh, older Belarusian equipment. Or you like the new Klaus. Uh, they don't get dirty, but... Um, actually, maybe they do. No, I think that was already there. Can't really tell. Uh, but the, these two are worth your checking out. That thing is not. I would just avoid that thing. All right, until next time. I've been Derek Tubbers. This has been your Farming Simulator 15 Mod Spotlight. Happy farming, everybody.